So in this video, we're going to check out who, which popular UK custom PC builders provide the best value for money or for the 3950X system, top end system for 2020. We're going to be looking at overclockers.co.uk compared to scancomputers.co.uk who we bought high end systems from before in the past and the build quality is proven to be good for both. So we're going to see which gives us that extra edge in terms of value for money for a 3950X system. We're going to go with a 3950X, so a, a good 16 core processor, brand new from AMD, just released last November. We're going to go for X570 motherboard, um, RTX 270 super card, GPU and what and a one terabyte nvme preferably by samsung so that's our target spec for a top end system i'm going to see who provides the best value for money so let's get the ball rolling with the overclockers.uk i'm going to let's see i think this one should be able to support a 3950x processor we're going to get the system builds as close as possible to each other so that the comparison's fair. We're gonna go with the, the basic case worth about 100 pounds. Let's see if it'll take a 3950X. Yep, it'll take one. So the price now is gonna jump. 1800. X570. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. But, um, Let's see if you can get something a little bit of pro MSI pro gaming. So we'll go for that one. Just nudge it up slightly. We want, want a pro motherboard. You don't want to go for the absolute basic one. Neither do we want to go for over. Let's see. Uh, liquid cooling, 120 millimeters. That seems fine. So we'll leave it at that for the scan. What about um, memory 32 gig RAM, 32 megahertz. So we'll go, we're not bothered about RGB. Where's a, a 16, 16, 32, where's 32? 32 gig RAM, 300, I wanna go for 3200 megahertz. So we'll go with this one. That gives us 32 gig at 3200 megahertz. And we're getting close to 2000 pounds. So now the power supply. I know the graphics card. Where is the 270 Super? Here we go. There's a few here. Super RTX. Okay, we'll go with the MSI, 270 Super, 2200 pounds. And next we'll go, I want something better than that. Western Digital Blue, we want one terabyte, Samsung Evo, NVMe, where is it? Uh, Samsung, oh, that's two terabytes. Samsung Evo, one terabyte, NVMe, yep, go with that. Ooh, 2400 now. And we don't want a second drive. Will it allow us to not select not wanted yet? So 2330. Uh, what's this? A mechanical drive, we don't want one. So let's get rid of that, not wanted. 850 watt power supply, that seems fine. Uh, everything else looks fine. So the overclockers core.uk system comes in at 20, just under 2300 pounds. Let's make sure that the specs correct. 3950X MSI X570 Pro motherboard. Liquid cooler basic little cool 120 millimeters that should be fine 
32 gig RAM, 3200 RTX, is it RTX 270 Super, one terabyte NVMe. Yep, so that system is fine. So let's go for a scan and see if it beats 2300 pounds. Let's pick a system that can support it. And there we go, this one. Okay, let's uh, select the motherboard first again. Pro Gaming. Slightly better motherboard than the other one. Slightly, not much difference. Now, 3950X, there we go. Price jumps to nearly 2000. CPU cooler, air cooler, we don't want an air cooler. Liquid cooler. 240 millimeters again it's a better cooler than the other system so slightly better system memory 32 gig ram um, don't offer much choice 32 gig 32 mega so same same ram similar graphics card 270 super yeah that's Looks fine. Yeah. Go with a slightly cheaper one. What's, that? What's the difference? 1770. Dual 2304 cores. Let's go back and see how many cores if it'll tell us. I'll try and get it as close. They're not giving information on overclock 8192 express. All right, let's go with the that one. So it's two thousand pounds. Okay, so not going for the top end power supply. What about 850? Uh, no, then we go up to 650. So the other one's got a better power supply. This one's got a better motherboard. And a better cooler. The other one's got a better power supply. What else? Solid state drive, yeah, one terabyte. S Samsung. Evo, yep, yeah, that's the one. Storage, none, 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 that's it. 2265 so the system this it's a bit of swings and roundabouts um, can we get a liquid cooler on this one let's have a look here's the cooler don't think you can Uh, RGP, um, no, it can't mend the cooler. So, look, liquid cooler 240. And 240, here we go. Water cooling, just a little bit more. So virtually identical builds. I think the scan computer is slightly better because oh, what did I? The motherboard slightly better. The power supply is slightly worse. So they're virtually identical, and the prices are virtually identical as well. So which one would I go with? Um, I'd probably. 2265 versus 2283. I just got to confirm the RTX cards are similar. So let's compare the RTX graphics cards. We got the MSI for the overclockers, and we got the ASUS for the scan, which is better. Go to Amazon and see what they say. 
Okay, the MSI is 470, so it's a better graphics card. Well, the ASUS is 375. So MSI is a much better graphics card. So you expect this system to be more better priced, higher priced by good, what is it, nearly 100 pounds. So maybe we should select for scan the the Geoforce the EVGA graphics card as clo more closely matching the overclockers. So we get a system of 2283 for overclock and a system price of 2355. There's not much in it between the two. And let's just see what the graphics card comes in at. RTX Super EVGA RTX Super Black. Let's see how that compares. RTX Super Black EVGA. Yes. Black. Yeah, it'd be similarly priced. So the graphics cards are virtually identical now. And that's the final system prices. Overclockers are coming in at 2283, slightly cheaper than the scan computers, also overclockers. Power supply is slightly better. So overclockers just beats scan computers. Maybe about 60 70 pounds better value for money just there's not much difference between the two they're both good suppliers and in terms of value for money they're very similar 2283 i suppose the mother oh yeah the motherboard on the scan computers is slightly better maybe by about 20 30 pound so there's that but apart from that everything's pretty similar I would go with a scan computer, but the power supply puts me off. 650. I'd, you know, personally, I'd want to put in something like 1000 watt power supply because they do tend to go. You want to have extra capacity so they last long. You're never going to use 650, but it will wear out faster than a 1000 watt supply. So I would probably go with scan computers on this build. For 3950X is cheaper and it's got a better power supply. Everything else seems virtually identical. We got the Samsung 1 terabyte NVMe, got 32 gig RAM at 3200Hz, megahertz. Well, so we got um we got water cooling 250 millimeter water cooling for both. Got Windows Home um yeah, everything's virtually identical. Motherboards, motherboard on the scan slightly better. Let's see if we can pop this up slightly. The motherboard, if you allow it, um, slightly better. Thirty pound more. Pro Gaming Plus. There it becomes twenty three hundred and thirteen against twenty three fifty five with a better power supply. So still about £60 difference. There's only about £60, £70 difference between them. Between a 3XX system and an overclockers.co.uk system. So what else is different when you get the systems? What I've noticed is that with overclockers, they keep the boxes and a lot of the accessories. You don't get like scan computers they send you everything they've used to build including the original boxes you get the motherboard box and you get the graphics card box and you get all the accessories whereas with overclockers they they send you the motherboard box but they don't send you all of the accessories that come with what with your components they don't well that's our experience so scan computers is better in that department that they send you all the accessories that if you went out and bought the components, you'd get the box and everything in it, whereas that doesn't happen with overclockers. They, they do send you some of the stuff, especially the motherboard, but not 
for instance for the graphics card and anything else that you bought mainly the graphics card that comes with a lot of extra freebies cables and stuff that you don't get so there's that difference so it's basically a toss up between the two scan computers versus overclockers there's not much difference between the two in terms of pricing and they both build reliable systems well built as we've experienced in the past my preference is probably my preference is probably marginally to favor scan computers even though it costs more marginally why is that because of the extra because they send you the extra stuff which can come in useful but there's not much difference between the two I would go with either if there's a significant difference in price in this case I'm leaning more towards overclockers for some reason they're not allowing you to you know scan is not allowing you to select a more powerful power supply 850 watts I would imagine would be the minimum they're only allowing I know from experience power supplies the lower the wattage the more likely it is to fail 650 watt will fail before five years are up whereas 850 watt won't like my current system is a scan computer one that and that's got a thousand watt power supply and it's still going good five years on so i'm going to be buying a 3950x system this year it will probably be from overclockers uk and i'll show you the spec once i've settled on a build it will be but it will be virtually identical to this i'm not into rgb fancy cases so i'll probably go with like something like this not much difference to this the black widow window case that will just add an extra so basically with this system just a slightly adjustment to the case no difference in price 2300 pound this is the system that i'm going to be going for this year we'll see how the price changes by the time i'm ready to purchase the system after you know see how the prices react to the new processor that's just come out the 3990x which is four thousand pound or is it four thousand dollars that's a bit of a bit overpriced well i wouldn't go for it 3950x 16 core is more than adequate for my productivity work 3990x overkill and way too expensive so do subscribe for that video when i actually go ahead and buy a 3950x either from overclockers.co.uk or scan computers depending on if they if i can find a similar spec from scan with a better power supply 650 watts is not good enough i'm afraid and originally they put it on this 550 they don't it won't last five years no.